This place is spectacular. It only peeps out at a low tide. Lots of sandy little areas. It's like little splash pad pools. Really fun to play in. We're on Shroud Key in the Exuma Islands. Ooh. You okay? He's like, get me to the water, guys. Finding lots of baby sea creatures. It's alive. Is it? Is there one in there? Yeah. Can you see in? I found a baby starfish, but a bug attacked me. I'm gonna try to find it again. Let's explore this remote Bahamas island together. We'll find sharks, turtles, and so much more. Let's do it. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah? Can you help me pick up hermit crabs? Is there a hermit crab? Yeah, there's a bunch. Yeah, we can go get one. Make sure you put them down like face down. Like there you go. This little sandbar is right next to the anchorage, visible at low tide, and it's such a cool spot to hang out and explore. We spent a few days and nights at Shroud Key, which is full of tropical mangroves, and today we'll take you through one. Are you ready? Turn it up. plans to meet up with fellow cruisers for the trip. But first, let's head back to Calypso to grab our gear. You're a nice bathing suit, babe. Thank you. Are you ready? I think we might see some turtles. Yeah. That'd be cool. We are bringing a radio. We're bringing a depth sounder because we're going back in the mangroves. We'll see how shallow it is. Obviously, the dinghy key. And we're going to bring our masks and we'll probably leave our fins here. But um, we'll at least bring the mass. We get some. Beer and juice. Yeah. Oh, that's like gin and juice, but it's beer and juice. Anchor. Whenever we leave the boat, we make sure to check the anchor for a proper set. That thing is dug in tight. Exactly what we like to see. Looks good, right? These natural waterways are affected by tides, so you have to try to time it right. Have enough water to get through, but not lose your water to get back out. The depth ranges from dry sand to eight feet or so in spots. We're at low tide, rising now. Let's see if we can make it through. So you want to just have a drink and wait for it? Yeah, we could. We were all starting to hit the ground. This is going to be fun. What do you think? <laughs> I'm happy we brought beer. They offered to tow us from our bow line. Because our engine, it just wasn't, we couldn't get it at the right angle to get through here. We just weaved our way through, enjoying our tow from friends. Here comes our first stuck cruiser. Next 
it cool? People are bailing out of their boats. It's easier to get out, you know, it raises your dinghy up a little bit. This is quite the experience. makes the dream work, literally. The dream is to get down here for some reason, because it's all the same, and have a drink. We got to the point where only Reese could ride while Jeremiah and I pulled Taco along. Don't get bit, Dad. All right, yeah, that's a good point. There were a few spots where we had little water. When we did, we were treated to amazing sea life, like this shark. We've reached the end of the water for now. We tie the dinghies off and hike the remainder of the trip, about a quarter mile or so. I know. It's like walking on the moon. Seriously. The east side of the island is wild and beautiful. Clear and untouched views of the Bahamas waters. We're going to enjoy this, our own private beach. It's your own private beach. Yep, and do you think I should bring you much today? Put that on your thing. The fishing line, right, that kills the most sea creatures. There's a hill over here once you get through the mangroves and you can get out to the beach and it has all of the plastics from different cruisers coming over here and kind of cleaning up the beach and they all put it in one spot on the hill so we're collecting our share run it back to the tub oh it's full of sand you got our board we found this we're going to use it to paint Calypso on there and put it at the uh, other place that we do that at. The next key down is Wardrick Wells and you kind of hike up these little trails up the hill and cruisers are famous for painting their boat name out of board and then uh, leaving it there. So Reese found our board today while we were doing a little beach cleanup. So the ocean goes through this point the high tide fills up this whole bay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in our dinghies because it's kind of rough coming in a little bit shallow. We're just going to wait. We're going to have a beer wait for the huge wave of water to just yeah. We're gonna need the dinghy and just go through the mangroves. Seriously. It was neat to see that people are collecting the trash, but a bummer to see it was there in the first place. The tide was coming up, so after a nice relaxing hike back to the dinghy, we were headed back through the mangrove. Doing all right. I think the water's probably coming up about a foot, which is perfect because. If we made it out here and it's up a foot, we're good. What a lovely afternoon, and it finished off great with an escort from a new friend. It was time to say farewell to our cruising friends as we all head towards our boats. We'll see you next time. The night was calm and scenic. We just enjoyed each other's company and reflected on the day. What are we doing? So we found this board from from sea, washing it up. Now we're gonna paint Wazy Gecko ceiling, and Mommy's gonna try a paint uh, Wazy Geckos. Well, 
Clipso. Clipso. Uh, one, so Clipso on one side, and then Lazy Geckos on the other side, Mommy thinks. I was on the beach, the sea washed it up, I guess, huh? You know what this could be? What? A pirate's board. It could. For, for, for like a chip. Yeah. Or like current turns. I think it's a perfect board. So you found it while we were out collecting plastic up, right? And you thought it would be a perfect board for our naming thing, right? Oh, yeah. We should do Calypso Red. Yeah, I think, well, well you guys do whatever, but I think that uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I think I'll write out it first and then have him trace. Perfect. Looking good, dude. Oh, you know what we could do? Some sparkles. Here. Reese and I love craft time. This was pretty sweet. Finding a board and then making it our own with a little paint. It will be fun to place on a mountaintop in a few days, repping Calypso's name. We decided to do mom and dad's side during nap time for some adult fun. A. What the hell kind of K, K is that? Hey, right. What are you talking you about? You misspelled lazy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> I should do like a little YouTube sign. The tide coming in was supposed to start at four o'clock yesterday for us to get through the south side of the mangroves. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it didn't start picking up till like five, five thirty. Yeah. Um, and as as it goes, as it gets later and later as the days go on, and it's like a cycle. So it'll be later today when that happens. The sun sets at like seven forty-five. We also want to do a beach bonfire, so I don't think we'll get to go through all the north side of the mangroves to the other mm -hmm. side of the ocean. Maybe we will. I don't know. But if not, that's okay because we did it yesterday. We'll get as far as we can. Sit down, have a drink, relax. It's really cool because you see like black tip um, sharks. Yeah. And then we saw some turtles. So that's it's cool. really, really cool. I'm happy with just getting a quarter way in, beaching the dinghy and having a drink and kind of just like enjoying. It's an awesome setting. And we need to find twigs for our beach fire. So we'll do that and then we'll go have a beach fire and then we are gonna weigh anchor early tomorrow. And when I say early, I mean like eight or nine and then take a 15 mile nautical mile trip, which will probably be two and a half, three hours for us, down to more, no. Do you remember the name? No. <sighs> the little pirate thing is though. We'll figure it out. And that's also where we'll drop this board off. Yeah. Very cool. It'll find its home there. anywhere near here that's awesome Just put up this little random sand bar which have gone in I don't know I said 30 minutes and uh, it'd be under like five feet of water thought we'd stop here let Reese play in the sand and have a beer dragging his boogie board <laughs> Wait, welcome to the sandbar. Literally, right? Yeah. It was upside down here. Let me crack it. Oh, okay. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. The tide was coming back up. Soon our little sandbar was gone, and we were in search of a beach to have a campfire on. What are we doing? Somehow, right? I just got like Let me get some what I know. mosquito stuff on you, or no see them stuff. I don't know weird stuff about it, huh? So we came to this little beach to build a fire to make some s'mores. Um, but there's some things here. There's a little flag with skull and crossbones. And then, as we're beaching the dinghy, we noticed a sign on the beach. Somebody made it with their feet. It's huge, and it says, go away. As far as we know, we're allowed to do a beach bonfire here. Lots of cruisers just did it the other night. So, I mean, I don't think it's aimed towards beach fires per se. I think it's more of like, just get away from our island. No, I don't think anybody lives here. I think they're very remote. So it must be somebody coming over on a be uh, boat that did it. 
It has a smiley face though, so it's like a happy go away. Go away. Not sure who wrote it, but we'll take that smile as a friendly go away. Maybe to the mosquitoes. First you want to do is grass and then bigger and then bigger, okay? Sandy stretch along the coast Well, I've never felt as at home as I do Right here We're showing you some attention How is it? Because <laughs> you don't like the butterflies You feel in the pit of your soul. We enjoyed the evening with a front row view of the anchorage and our floating home, resting safely on the hook. With you, whether the weather shows storms or some, we could have some fun taking time off each other. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Find a bottle of rum. This way goes to Boobah Hill. Don't go too deep. This is a little check valve. Are you ready for this? Oh man, my arm is killing me! I'm the um, boat chef. Did you know that? No. This is David Copperfield's island. Dead low tide. <laughs> I've never heard one you can get in. All right, you gotta go first one. And let's go down. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. Yeah.